Hello my friends, it's Bruns here and welcome back to the channel. So we just got news about the new patch notes which are coming out September 12th. So that's going to be Tuesday this coming week. And there's loads of stuff being fixed. Plus there are some changes to the balance of the game. So this is all really, really exciting because this is the second patch we're getting within seven days really. That's excellent news because it just shows that Gun, they're willing to fix the game. They're willing to sort out the issues that the community have been complaining about. So great news. So one of the big things that are being patched here is the trap collision issue. So once the victims fall into Hitchhiker's trap at the top of the ladder, then the victims wouldn't be able to interact with gap spaces and all that. You can't even go through wells because I did manage to go through a well even last night. And then as soon as the cutscene started for downstairs, I was back upstairs. So it completely breaks the game. Apparently they seem to understand that this is not the only issue related to Hitchhiker straps and they want to understand more what's going on there i don't really know what's going on here so maybe someone knows and can let us know down in the comments there was some fixing up with some achievements and g is very happy about that so there is a little fix here to continue on the lobby end screen and he says this issue was causing all active players to wait the full timer when choosing to continue to the next match due to disconnected players this will help speed up the process of matchmaking into the next match for active players i don't think i've ever come across this one actually next fix is continue missing from custom custom game end screen. We resolved an issue where the continue option was missing from the end screen of custom games. Never did custom games, so I don't know what they're talking about. Great to hear that they also look into these things. Big change to balancing now. The battery of the car will be on from the get-go. So no longer will the family need to waste their time switching the car battery up. They can go straight to setting up other stuff. And you know, just waiting for the victims to make more noise, waking up grandpa, and then they're gonna flood that basement and they gonna kill all those victims so i think this change is huge because victims are just used to rushing and i actually hate the whole rushing that's not the point of the game that's not how the game was meant to be played and i appreciate some people love playing like that I, it's just not for me and i know this is not how the devs intended for the game to be played so they are going to make these changes now they will start making people think oh if i make too much noise grandpa's gonna wake up family is going to come down because everything is locked upstairs there's nothing else to be switched on so i think this will really make people think twice before making too much noise down the basement great change another change respect in lobby option we have removed the option to respect characters in match lobbies you can still edit the character loadouts and spend any unused skilled points respect will have to be done via the main menu now so why are they making this change what does it mean that people are respecting in the lobby that just makes everybody else wait on you if you're not ready to go into a match because you're respecting your character get out of the lobby go and do it and then come back because what they're saying here is we just want people in the lobby who are ready to go we don't want we don't want people messing around because they're listening to us everybody in the community is saying the matchmaking is taking too long lobby times are off the charts and people don't ready up and all that and why do you guess people are not readying up because they're respecting in the lobby so they're getting rid of that great change we've got some more lobby changes in a second now a little tune they're calling a tune this is a big balance change bone scrap limits bone scrap piles are now limited to three uses per pile this is just one step in terms of balancing the scrap usage and frequency of course because what was happening is you're upstairs you have a bone scrap you get into a close encounter with a family member you win and then you activate all the perks that you have equipped for that so that you get more stamina or the family lose stamina jump down the well get another bone scrap go upstairs try to do whatever you're trying to do again might get caught again rinse repeat and so we went they're trying to just speed things up right they're just trying to balance it out if you can get to the objective you got it if you don't get to the objective we're gonna have less chances of getting to the objective what this is also going to do is ensure that some perks are used more by the victim such as last ditch effort where dropping below 30 percent of max health will automatically equip a bone scrap this only occurs if you have an empty inventory slot and it has five uses. Also perks such as efficient backstabber and efficient grappler, which will give you a chance to keep your bone scrap after using it on a sneak attack or a close encounter. That's fine with me. I play mostly victims, as you guys know, and that, <laughs> on, on my days of Evil Dead, all I used to do was demon. And then I think I did demon for like months. And then I got bored of demon, and then I just did survivors. And now in this game, I'm only doing victims. I haven't done much family. The only reason for that is because I don't have time. Yeah, I've got a little kids at home i've got a big job so it's just i just don't have the time
time. So what I just have to do is dedicate myself to one section of the game. I'll go through as much as I can. I'll just try to dissect it as much as I can. Once I'm really done and I have the time, I'll go and I'll do the next bit. So all the family stuff is coming. I'm so sorry that I'm not putting family stuff out there, but that's the reason. It's not because I hate the family. If anything, when we started playing this game, G say, oh, we're going to go family. And we started playing family. And as soon as I started playing victim, I really enjoy playing victim and I didn't want to go back. That sounds really bad, actually. Anyway, let's move on. Cook lock usage XP farm. So that was a little bit ridiculous. I didn't realize it was a thing until people started posting about it. <laughs> so what they say is we have set a limiter to the amount of XP that can be earned from placing and removing locks repeatedly. It's just ridiculous, right? Going to a match and all Cook does is just put a lock on, take a lock off, put a lock on, take a lock off. It's just ridiculous. You will still receive the XP bonus for placing each of the three locks once. Okay. Fine. Great, great changes here. So it's gonna ensure everybody who's in the game is in the game to play and not to just farm XP. So they're reversing something that was absolutely doing my head in, which is lobby timer set to three minutes. Thank God for that. So we added to the lobby timer in the last patch to give more time to fill lobbies. I mean, why would they do that? It was just crazy why they've done this, right? There was absolutely no point for them to do this, but they've done it. They say the community generally disliked this change and we have therefore reverted it back to the stand at three minutes thank god and i'll tell you what once everybody's in the lobby it should go down to like 30 seconds or even 20 seconds because if everybody's in the lobby they're not respecting the characters you just have to maybe very quickly change your loadout you're ready to go that's what that's the next thing that should happen with the lobby just make you really fast and then the last thing they've tuned some further anti-cheat and uh, they continue to work on the anti-cheat and i'm one step closer to reintegrating pc into crossplay though we are not there just yet players encounter usage of cheats and hacks please continue to report them via support and the links there i'm gonna put the link of this anyway down in the description i know the cheaters were really ruining for a lot of people and I, I hate to say it but didn't really came across many and i'm on ps5 but i totally understand that this was really upsetting some people i just don't think i paid too much attention or it just didn't happen too much to me but there it is it's great that they're doing this and i can't wait for the reintegrate pc because as you guys know, I used to play a lot with G. We used to play a bit of DBD as well before. So I really miss playing with him. And I know there are other people in the community that would love to play with their PC friends and PC friends with their PS5 and Xbox friends. So I can't wait for this to be fixed so that we can all move on from this. And that's that, that's going to be the end of it, really. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think about these patch notes. I love it. And I think they're really fast coming. So this is all really great news. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more content like this you guys know i'm always going to try to keep you updated on what's going on drop a like to the video and also join the channel for more perks such as having loyalty badges next to your name also some special emojis during the chats or the comments i'm going to give you priority reply to all your comments and also i'm going to give a big shout out to all the members of the channel at the end of my videos which by the way we are due so a big shout out to praise g bus of course and also a big shout out to our newest member one trick Wu Tang. you guys are legends and thank you so much for the support I really really appreciate it that's it i'm off now have a great day everyone and i'll see you all next time